Welcome to Sheet Leveller. I'm Joanne and I'm here to help you use Excel more efficiently with our helpful video tutorials. Today, we'll be showing you how to write the squared symbol in Excel. We'll demonstrate two methods, one for text and the other for numbers. So let's get started. First, we will look at how to type the squared symbol, which relies on formatting to create the symbol. If we wish to type the symbol for a square meter, to display the number 2 correctly, we can type M2s into the cell and select the appropriate formatting. Let's locate the number 2 and highlight it in the text. Then, head to the Home tab at the top of the page. At the bottom right-hand corner, click on the Font Settings option to open it. You can find the Effects section in this window and you can tick the Superscript box to activate it. To finish, click OK and you're done. Unfortunately, it is not possible to use the same method we just used to write the squared symbol when working with numbers. If the cell is set to general or number format, you can use the following approach. To quickly resolve the issue, change the cell formatting to text in your spreadsheet. Although it is not required, There is an alternative method for adding a squared symbol to a cell. This works great for both text and numerical data. We should remove the content from cell B4 and reset the formatting to the default general setting. Let's see how we can insert the squared symbol in Excel using the insert symbols option. To write three squared, simply type the number three into the cell. After this, you will be able to insert the squared symbol. To add special symbols and signs to an Excel document, navigate to the Insert tab and select Symbols at the bottom. We need to find the squared symbol. To do this, we can search for it, select it, and then click the Insert button to add it to our document. The item is located directly beside the number 3, as expected. Following the previous steps, allows you to insert any symbol or sign into Excel as needed. Once the symbol is in its correct location, simply press the close button to finish. That's all you need to do. If you want to learn more about squaring numbers in Excel, please check out our video tutorials. There is a link to them in the description below. If you found this tutorial useful, please show your appreciation by giving the video a like. If you would like to improve your Excel skills, hit the subscribe button and learn how to use Excel like a boss. I appreciate you taking the time to view my video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.